Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you are having a fabulous start to your week. Sorry, I'm just looking for some stampin' lips to put on. <laughs> Here we go. I feel like my room, oh, I don't have my light on. That's why my room's dark. It was so much brighter when it was daylight out, but now that it's nighttime at five o'clock. Um, so let me quick flip my light on. Uh, okay, that's a little better. <laughs> a little more light. It is pretty much dark out though, which is just the worst. I don't know if you guys hate this time of year. I love fall. I love the change of seasons. I love when things get cooler, but the nighttime in the afternoon is just kind of the pits. But on a, the bright side, it is nice and bright at, well, earlier in the morning. I don't know what time it gets bright, but I ah, like longer days. What can I say? <laughs> More sunlight, please. Um, it's just, ah, it's just one of those crazy things. You know, I don't mind the change of time, really. I, um, I always kind of like the falling back part of it. Not so much the spring forward. It just kind of is what it is, but, um, I wish, I wish the days were just longer. <laughs> so, um, you like sleeping in? I do too. I remember... I remember when I could sleep in. I thought once my kids were grown up, I'd be able to sleep in. But then I got puppies. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> they are really good about getting up earlier than I personally believe is right. <laughs> so, um, we, we, this is pretty cool. I was really exciting. Or really excited because we got to go. Um, we got to go away this weekend, and by away I mean we drove six and a half hours each way to Sioux Falls <laughs> to watch Carl run one more race. And um, he, uh, well, my daughter came to watch the puppies, of course, while we were gone, so that we could go which was really sweet. She had a really good time because she doesn't, you know, obviously get to spend much time with them when she's away at school. So it was lovely to have her home, except I was gone the whole time, which was kind of a bum, bummer. Anyway, um, she was, uh, <laughs> she was a little tired because they got her up early, but we <laughs> really enjoyed that nobody got us up early at the hotel we were staying at. So that was lovely. Anyway, um, and then we came, we were remarking on how nice it was that we were, you know, we had this one night away, <laughs> but we had a really nice time, um, at Carl's race. It was wonderful to have him run one more time and he ran his best time ever, which was so awesome. We're super proud of him. So that was really great. And it was not frigid cold. It was a little cool, but it got warm as the day went on. So that was really good. Um, he placed 13th out of, I think there were about 2,000 boys in his race category, which is pretty awesome. And um, he, was, he was really proud of that. So they recognized the top 21 runners and so he got they get you get a t-shirt I think I mean the top three got like medals like like Olympic looking medals really big nice medals but um he was pretty excited to get the t-shirt and then it was really funny because when he got home he had stuff all over the t-shirt like like he spilled some Gatorade and something else on it sorry my eye is itching um and so now I have like put stuff on it. To hopefully it'll get out, come out because it's a white t-shirt. But anyway, I posted some pictures um, on my 
board yesterday. So it was really good that he had that one final race to close out the season because he was just so disappointed with how state went for him. And so anyway, but yeah, I, we were really excited and it was a nice sunny day. So it was, it was just great to watch him run. And that was a lot of fun. And it was pretty cute too, because, um, there were kids running the race, like a kid, I think on Carl's team, I, we didn't see him, but we saw a different kid who ran with like a dress shirt and tie and dress pants, <laughs> which was funny. And then some kids had like, there were kids with like headbands and sort not costumes, but they just sort of dressed up and had fun with the race, which is really good um, to see. Lots of fun race shorts, like with lemons or like Carl has a pair with lobsters on the sh his running shorts. So there were a lot of kids dressed kind of like that, which was pretty cute. So um, yeah, we had a great time and it was lovely to get away, but I could have probably used a little less car time. It was a lot in the car and <laughs> we're going, uh, we're going to Minneapolis for Thanksgiving and then, um, Kelly and I are trying to figure out if we can go out to Barb's. So I have a lot of car time in my future in the next month or so. So anyway, um, I am so happy to see you all here today. And thank you so much for being here. It is always wonderful to stamp with you on Mondays. Mondays are just so much better when, um, when you guys are... Uh, or when we're all here together stamping. It's just, I hope it's the highlight of your day. It is the highlight of my day. And um, yeah, I've got some great projects for you. We're going to, we're going to make a bunch of cards today. So if you are one of those procrastinators um, for, for holiday cards and um, need a little quick inspiration, I'm going to help you. Um, Oh, thank you. Someone said they liked my top. Thank you. Um, last week I could I was not live because Carl's banquet was Monday night during during my live time. So um, I, we were at his banquet for cross country. So um, and thank you for saying you like my top. That's really sweet because I'm really excited. This is a size medium. I have, I've been wearing larges and extra larges for a very long time. And to be wearing a size medium just makes me so happy. Um, I will also tell you that I have my cozy blanket um, that I showed you guys a few weeks ago sitting here because, um, well, this is funny. So in the summertime, we there's vents. There's like one right around here and then there's one up over here over there um, in my office vents and we close them in the summer because it's cool in my basement already so I don't need the air conditioning blowing in here I'd rather it go upstairs right so um, we closed or we were trying to open them today and my husband was in a meeting all day like kind of a workshop or I don't know whatever he's like in an all-day thing with a bunch of people and he was leading it so Anyway, um, it was, uh, we were trying to open the vents with a yardstick. <laughs> and that was tricky. I got one of them open, but not the other one. And my husband literally hasn't had time to do anything today, except use the restroom. That's about it. So um, I need him to come down here to open it. Oh, I should ask Carl. He's tall. He could do it. So it's a short girl problem in here. And I was standing on my chair, but I didn't want to get too crazy because, you know, the last thing I need is to like fall and crack my head open. Um, so I'm hoping we can get that. But this nice, cozy, warm blankie is really lovely. <laughs> so I've been having it on my lap here while I've been working on my projects. Um, and that's been just wonderful. Um, okay. So uh, let me flip my camera around. I've got some important stuff to tell you and some awesome stuff to show you. And then, and that's not even the stamping stuff. So it's going to be, it's going to be a great day. So let me just flip my camera around. Okay. 
So here we go. Um, by the way, if you missed Monday, because I wasn't live Monday, I was live on Thursday. So you can catch the replay. It's on my blog as well. So you can check that out. So we just got information about a seasonal sale. So this is like our Black Friday. We've called it in the past the online extravaganza, whatever you want to call it. It's our sale. And rather than having it on Black Friday, we're having it early. So it's November 14th through the 16th. And the this sale will be pretty awesome. And actually, I'm going to pull this up so I tell you the correct stuff. I should have printed it off, but it wasn't really, well, I'll just show you or I'll tell you, I guess. Um, but there's a discount on three different categories of products, which is so awesome. And, um, and they're all from the annual catalog. So everything's from the annual catalog. And, oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Goodness, I'm just trying to get myself logged into my phone so I can tell you. Okay, because I don't want to mess it up because that sounds like something I could do. You know, it's tough. Okay, so um, the discount is 10% off ribbons and trim. Okay, so basically every ribbon trim did, um Baker's Twine, you what have you. And again, this is all annual catalog stuff. Then there's 15% off of ink, ink refills, and markers. So pads, refills, markers. Um, those discount, this discount does not include bundles. So like if you got a color family of ink pads, those are normally 10% off. But if you ordered them all individually, they would be 15% off. So get things individually. Likewise, the whole bundle of markers. So if you got all the four sets of markers, the brights, regals, um, subtles, etc., that would be not discounted. But if you ordered them individually, they would be discounted. So just so you know. So if it's in a bundle for like refills or pads or markers, it's not discounted. But if it's the individual one, it's discounted more. So order them, order individually. And then there is... Are you ready for this? This is kind of exciting. 20% off of um, paper, which includes cardstock, specialty paper, and designer series paper. So that's pretty exciting. So this is definitely a stock up kind of situation. Um, now, this is happening for three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so it starts technically tonight at midnight. So just be aware of that. Um, if you're on my mailing list, I'll be sending out an email reminder for you. But oh, so exciting. And it's a really great opportunity to get kind of some of those things that um, you might use a lot. For instance, paper. I go through a lot of paper. I don't know about you guys, but I... I use a lot. Anyway, so I recommend um, stocking up and shopping early because if it sells out, then it sells out. So, so don't miss out on that. Now, again, this is for annual catalog goodies. So holler if you have any questions about that. Um, they usually don't do white cardstock. No, they don't. So definitely get some. Um, and definitely, yeah, get, get, the things that you want on your check out your list. So pretty exciting. Um, and again, that's happening Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I would shop Tuesday if you can. Just I'm just saying. That's my current plan. Okay. Um, also, first we turkey, then we stamp. Literally, the boxes have just left the house. Um, I have a few left. So if you would like to join us for this awesome event, it is a really great opportunity to stamp whenever it works for your schedule throughout the holiday season. These cards are all occasion cards. They are not Christmas or holiday type projects. Um, they are basically this is an event de designed to give yourself a creative escape when the holidays get to be too much. 
Um, our boxes, like I said, are shipping starting today. So if you want to join us, there's still time. I, like I said, I've got a few more boxes left and we'll get them out to you as soon as you register. And um, I believe there is a link in the description of this video. If not, I will throw it in there, but I think it's in there. Um, and it's going to be a wonderful event. We've designed projects to work with three products, the Curved Occasions, or Curvy Occasions, I can't remember, Curved Occasions bundle, um, the You Warm My Heart bundle, and, or Warmest Heart bundle, Curved Occasions, and the Patchwork Pieces dies. Now, if you don't have these products, you can add them to your registration, or you can substitute for things that you already have, and they're pretty easy to do that with, um, Things are designed to be interchangeable with stuff you already have, but I know sometimes you really enjoy having things that look just like our samples, and we're happy to help you make that happen. Um, I think you'll enjoy the class a lot. Uh, we have 15 projects for you, plus an amazing tote bag that is especially for this event so I'm very excited and of course there'll be some fun goodies in your bag so I hope that you can join us um, as mentioned that I still have a few boxes left so get yourself registered if you are a Stamp Happy Academy subscriber or a member of my team you can get $10 off which is a really great deal. Just ask me for the um, discount code in a message or an email and I will send it to you. Um, so that's a really great opportunity. So again, Stamp Happy Academy members or members of my team get $10 off. Um, the Winter Owls online class is our online class for November and these are really gorgeous cards. I love this bundle. I'm not really a bird person, but this is just such a pretty bundle. Um, we made a really cute card with this last week, well actually on Thursday during my live and um, the projects that we have planned for you are pretty outstanding actually. I'm really proud of my cards, I'm just going to say that. Um, they're just really nice winter cards. You could make them for holidays if you wanted or they are just kind of good winter cards. I also think they're kind of good masculine cards. That's just my personal opinion. And then my um, creativity to go kit this month is featuring the brand new Garden Meadow bundle. This is um, a brand new bundle as part of our online exclusives. And I'm going to show you the other online exclusive items here in just a minute. So both of these classes are coming out this month and you can get registered for them. And of course, when you shop in my online store and your order is $50 before tax and shipping, you will receive the All About Autumn All Star Video Class Bundle, which are 12 amazing project tutorials geared or designed with the um, All About Autumn suite. And of course, this has been a huge favorite among everyone this fall. And the cards are really outstanding. I think you're going to love them a lot. I'm just saying. And um, and then our, finally, our Sunshine and Creativity Delivered. It, when you subscribe during the month of November, you'll receive the December box. And the December box is going to be fun card layouts. And these are just easy to use card layouts that you can um create with uh, projects really with almost anything in mind and I think this this was we voted on this and I think it's going to be a really great box um, I'm actually very excited about the choice so I already have a couple cards designed and we have I have obviously a couple or several a few more left to design but I think it's going to be a great box I definitely recommend it um, so if you're not part of sending uh, Sunshine and Creativity Delivered, this is a monthly subscription box that you can join. You can cancel whenever you'd like. Um, you just need to subscribe the month before and you will get that month, the, the following month's box and they're really awesome. I also have um, some leftover boxes. So if you need the link for that, this, they're in my ready to ship classes and um, that will come in the email that I'm sending out uh, to you yet this evening. So check that out. All right. I think that's everything. Um, oh, we will also have a Friday fun this week. I know I've kind of gotten away from that, but now that the season is over and all the things are done, we can get back at it, which is great. Um, I did want to share with you one more thing, and this is kind of a fun one. Um, 
Last week, I received this beautiful package from Stampin' Up. Let me grab it here. And I didn't really post about this um, because this kind of happened the weekend um, of my my retreat for my team and so I haven't really talked about it and then something else kind of monumental happened that week as well which I'm going to mention in just a minute but um this came in the mail for me last week after the announcement was made and I was pretty um pretty honored to be recognized as one of the top demonstrators in Stampin' Up! again this year um I wasn't really sure how that was all going to turn out cuz as you know it's been a bit of a challenge this year in my personal life. So, um this was just such a wonderful surprise to to receive in the mail. Um so I got this card from Stampin' Up for being a top demonstrator and then I get to pick a gift. There's actually they sent us a link to a website with a bunch of gifts that we can choose, which is pretty cool. And then this is my little tag that was made with Shelly and Sarah signing it. Um, and then in this little pouch are my pins to recognize. Um, I can't remember exactly my placements, um, except that I was number nine in sales. I was pretty proud of that. I think I was 14th overall. Um, but I received pins for um, being top in sales, uh, team building, leadership, and overall in my country. So um, these are very special pins to me. So I'm really grateful and honored to be recognized again this year from Stampin' Up! And so thankful to my team and my customers who make these things a possible for me. So thank you so much for the support you've given me this time. Um, but I will tell you, all of this is so wonderful, but it pales in comparison to the other news that I received that very same day. And um, that was that we had um, just a regular visit with Andy's um, MS doctor and he had new scans done and they showed no change, which means that his medicine is working um, and that he's stable for right now, which we are considering a huge blessing and we're quite thrilled with that news. And this is the kind of thing we've been sort of holding our breath for. And I didn't really realize how anxious I was about it until the appointment and, and finally getting the news. So we're so, so, so grateful for that. Um, so this stuff is really great, but the news is even better. So anyway, um, I just wanted to tell you guys that a little, just a little update. So we're oh, so relieved. So luckily, um, I'd say he, he is, he had his MS is called relapsing remitting, which means that it kind of comes and goes. And so right now he's in a remission stage and we're hoping that will continue for as long as possible and um, and that he doesn't have any new symptoms pop up, which we're, we, we are, you know, cautiously optimistic that everything is going to be just fine um, for now. So that's awesome, awesome news. Okay, so there's all that. Now, I mentioned that we have some new online exclusive products. So I've shown you um, the two bundles that we had uh, already um, that we could pre-order, I guess I should say. And that would be the Garden Meadow Bundle and the Fluffiest Friends Bundle. So again, this is the one my online class is going to be with. Um, then we have some more goodies. Uh, we have the Softly Said stamp set, which is just so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love it. And it's big, like the sentiments are big. Actually, we're gonna use a couple of them today. And this is something that is requested a lot. Um, we, bigger sentiments. So I'm really, really excited about that because um, they're just so fun to use. There's just so many fun things you can do with them. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do a couple projects with those today. Then we got this cool set the art or of art and texture, which is really fun. I always love sets like this. They're so much fun to play with and, and tinker around with. I'm excited to, 
to use mine. Of course, I was gone all weekend, so I didn't get to dive into any of these yet. But um, I am looking forward to them. This one I really love, the Simply Sparkling Bundle. This has dies to coordinate with the stamps, and it is going to be so much fun to play with. So I am very excited about that. And then finally, the Feathered Flight. This is one of our distinctive stamp sets, I think. I guess it, I don't know if it's, I don't know if they even say that they are distinctive anymore, but it is. It's got all that nice fine detail to it. And it's, this is going to be another really beautiful and I think very easy to use stamp set and perfect for masculine cards. So, um, so a fun lineup of new goodies. Now these are all available in the online store. As mentioned, they released last week. So um, they're all, as far as I know, they're all still in stock at the moment. Now in the Garden Meadow, this is part of a, a larger collection of products that includes some designer series paper, which is this paper. Um, and these are part, like, as I mentioned, part of a collection with some ribbon and some embellishments. Now those embellishments are not available at the moment, um, but they are scheduled to be in, in, I think a week or two. So they will be back in stock soon. So, okay. Um, now as far as our projects are for today, we're going to have some fun. Now I wanted to, I wanted to focus on some holiday cards that were super easy to make and that, would not require a lot of time or let's just say effort to create and then we're going to follow it up with a couple of projects with some with that new stamp set I mentioned okay so I'm going to start this is from the one horse open sleigh designer series paper and it's just this cute little winter scene and so I'm going to take and cut this down to be four by five and a quarter. I'm going to cut just a little sliver off the top. Okay. And so I'm going to cut off the side. And then as mentioned, just a little bit off the top. Okay. So we've got this cute little scene. It's just so sweet. And then we've got um, the back side of this paper, by the way, also has some cute little patterns on it, which I just think are the best. Um, so you can incorporate these in your card if you want or not, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But we're going to take and put this on a um, pool party card base. Sorry, I just had to get my pool party card stock. And I'm just going to fold this. And now that I'm looking at it, I think I might trim it just a teensy bit more and I'll show you why because I think if we put a little pop of color in there so I'm going to make it three and seven eighths by five and an eighth okay there we go three and seven eighths by five and an eighth and then I can add a layer of white behind this which I think will look really nice and just kind of really pop it up onto my card. Ooh, that might be more than three. I think that's here. This, this is, this is four, four by five and a quarter. There we go. That's better. This is, must be, well, doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to attach this. Okay, super, super cute. And um, we could pop this up because that will take this very, very simple card and make it fancy because we're popping it up, of course. And then I can also um, add a little ribbon to this just to really kind of make it fancy. Now, you can skip the ribbon if you want. That doesn't matter, but I'm going to use some of the pool party ribbon from our annual catalog because I really like this ribbon and um, it'll go on here really nicely. And I think I'm actually going to put it up top 
well, actually, maybe, maybe I won't use any ribbon. Well, actually, let's hold on. <laughs> Don't you love how I'm changing my mind? I already changed my mind about adding the layer, so, you know, that's sort of how I roll. Okay, I'm going to take a little strip of white cardstock and um, one of my sentiments from the Lights Aglow stamp set, which I had here, yes, or I'm sorry, Brightest Glow, sorry. The Brightest Glow stamp set, so I'm going to do the Happy Holidays, and then to you and yours this Christmas will go on the inside. So I like this set has kind of innie and outy sentiments, which are just wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the Happy Holidays on here. And I just want to make sure my stamp is on my block nicely. I'm going to use some Mossy Meadow ink because I think that'll go nicely with the sort of rustic cabin look that we have here. Okay, so happy holidays. And then you could go like this or you can... Just punch the ends like so. And I think I'm gonna put it up there. And I think I'm gonna skip the ribbon. I was gonna put ribbon on here, but I think I just, I don't wanna interrupt this beautiful scene. So I'm gonna skip the ribbon. All right. And then we'll put this on. But that doesn't mean I don't have to embellish because we can totally do that. Now, one of my favorite embellishments, did I put it away or did I leave it out, is Oh, where are they? They're the snowflakes, which I had and now they're gone oh here they are I thought I put them away but they were at the bottom of my pile of cardstock for today's cards okay so I'm gonna pop this up as I mentioned and then and then we're gonna just embellish slightly I just love the trees, I love the little snowy river kind of thing that we kept in the paper. And then we're just going to add some of these beautiful sequins. Now you can do any of them. There's white, gold, and copper. Um, I think I'm going to do some copper just because it's pretty. And kind of adds a fun touch to this card. And then we can even do, I'll do one more small one up here. Like that. Super fun, super easy. And then on the inside, we're going to add our other sentiment, which is, like I said, kind of that innie sentiment. And I'm going to put it on here to you and yours this Christmas. And then we'll take, because these are so nice and flat, we can add um, a large snowflake on the inside of our card. And it won't, you know, normally we don't put these on the inside of our card. But we can, in this case, because it fits. Oh, so. Um, Deborah asked, will watercolor paper be on sale tomorrow? And I'm... Um, about 99.9% .9 sure the answer to that is yes. Um, but the complete list of things will show up in the online store tomorrow, but I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that it is, which it's a good time to get that because, of course, it's kind of spendy. So, yeah. All right. So isn't this cute? Oh, so fun. Um... Yes, pool party ribbon will be on sale tomorrow. Note cards and envelopes, I believe the answer to that is yes. Um, so, yes, awesome, awesome sale items tomorrow. 
Okay, now this next set of cards that I'm going to show you is a little bit of a rabbit hole for me. I was going to make one or two and then we're just going to have to make more than that. So you're just going to have to live with it, friends. Um, <laughs> this is uh, the next several cards. I'm using the Berry Cute or Berry Christmas um, sweet items. Okay, so let me show you what that is. So the very cute sweet. So we've got these memories and more cards. And um, um, then we also have, so these are the memory and more cards. And then we have the memories and more cards and envelopes pack. So I'm, I'm combining both of these along with some sentiments um, to create these next several cards. And like I said, I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole. Now let me show you what these look like. So I kind of have everything is sort of a mess right now. They come with two sizes of cards. So there's the four by six cards. And then there are stickers. So there's two sheets and two different types of sheets. So four sheets total of stickers. And we're going to use some of them. And then there are these three by four sized cards. And you can see some of them have some of them are, you know, empty, so you can journal in them if you were going to do memory keeping, or you could stamp a sentiment in here if you're doing Christmas cards, or, you know, you can do whatever you want with them. Some of them have writing on them that you can, you know, that are suitable for for Christmas cards. So here's, here's what we're going to do. Okay, so they start, like, unbelievably simply. Okay, oh, and then, sorry, I gotta show you the other thing. There's note cards and envelopes. So there's two styles of note cards and two styles of envelopes. And of course they all coordinate. So these have little trees and these have little snowflakes on them. So they're good for, for both holiday and not holiday cards. Okay, so here's the first one. I'm gonna start with a card base. This is not a note card, but a card base because you can do both with them. But I just wanna show you how to do the other. Um, size because the this I'm going to use this four by six card on this smaller you know kind of our standard size cardstock so the half sheet of cardstock folded in half so to do that I'm just going to cut off a half of an inch on either side of this okay and what that will do is it will make this five inches and then I'm going to cut um, a quarter of an inch off the actually I'll do like an eighth of an inch off the top and the bottom and then that makes me a five a three and three quarters by five inch piece now what's great about that is I can take this piece and add it to this card okay and I can also add a layer of cardstock to it so let's quick I did not cut this piece ahead of time we can cut a quick four by five and a quarter inch piece to layer this on okay now this is such a cute and simple card that took very little prep just a couple of of trims to make and then we'll add it to our card base, just like that, nice and flat, ready to send. Um, you can add some embellishments to this if you want. So, there's lots of different things that will work. I'm gonna use my, um, these are the adhesive back, backed glitter sequins these will work very nicely on here and we'll just add a couple to oh, I keep grabbing the wrong take your pick tool there we go so you can really do whatever whichever ones you'd like maybe I'll put a couple right there and another one up here and that's a super simple card right so season's greetings and then on the inside of our card, 
uh, we want to add, let's see, I have a stack of paper. Here we go. We want to add something to the inside of our card, and that's where these stickers come in. There's all kinds of options, okay, including some really sweet things like this line of trees. So I can just add this and even this and even this. All of that can go on the inside of my card. Super simple. And I love this because, you know, this goes together so nice and easy. Okay. Now, um, obviously you don't have a ton of these stickers, so you can substitute um, a strip of designer series paper. Uh, you could even cut up um, like this piece if you wanted, or, um, oh, maybe it was one of the big ones. There's a big one that's got a pattern on here that would work, I thought. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I know, it's from the, the DSP in in the suite. The, the full pack of DSP has a pattern that would coordinate with this to go on the inside. It kind of looks like um, this right here. And then obviously you can use these stickers as well in, in on the inside. And then there's like this other tree. So you can still make several um, cards just like that. Okay, there's our next one. All right, then um, I wanted to do a really simple one. So again, I'm going to start with a half sheet of Misty Moonlight cardstock, same as this last card. And I cut... Um, or I took one of these pieces right here, these four by, sorry, cards. This is the three by four card. We're going to pop that up onto our card. And then we're going to add a little die cut piece to this. So this card is just incredibly easy. Okay, so I took Merry Christmas. This is from the Very Cute stamp set. Okay, and I'm going to stamp that in some Misty Moonlight ink. You could also do it in real red. It's just up to you. That looks lovely. And then I'm going to pop this up onto my card with a little bit of ribbon. Um, how can you cover up the bears? Oh, you mean the back side of this card? I know. It's I I thought you meant that as could you tell me how to cover up the bears? <laughs> I think you meant it as a they're so cute, how could you do that to the bears? I think that's what you're getting at, Cheryl. I know it's tough. It it's the struggle is real. <laughs> okay, so I've got some red ribbon. Um, this is from the red and green combo pack of ribbon, but we've got we've got a few different options for red ribbon. Okay, and I'm just going to do a little zigzag on here, like this, to add a little touch of red to this card, and put a little on there so that it stays in place and look at how cute and simple that is it's just so easy of course we're going to add the inside so I'm going to take a piece of vanilla by the way this die cut is from the um, nested essentials dies which is one of my favorite set of dies it's in the in the annual catalog okay then on the inside, we can come back to our stickers. You can also cut um, different things to create this, but I'm going to just put this little sticker right here at the bottom to decorate. And isn't that so cute? Um, will the memory cards be on sale? I don't know about that. These ones will not because they are from the mini catalog and the sale is not 
um, on mini catalog items. It's just on annual catalog items. So everything will be posted um, at midnight mountain time tonight. Okay, so there we go. So cute. All right, next card. I just love how easy these are. This one's going to be kind of ridiculously easy, so hold on. Uh, I've got a real red card base. All right, I've got this card, May Your Christmas Be Cozy. It's pre-printed, ready to go, even though that side's super cute too. Um, we're going to adhere it to a... Um, um, Mossy Meadow panel that's three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So that was really easy to cut. Okay. I'm going to pop this up onto my card. And da -da -da. there we go. So easy. And once again, we can embellish this one. You can embellish all of them. Let's just be honest here. Um, you just got to find your embellishments. Okay. So I'm thinking actually on this one. I'm thinking I might take some of my pastel adhesive backed sequins. Um, cause I've got gold and I think gold would look really nice on here. And I'm just going to add a couple of these. They come in uh, a couple different sizes. Oops. So there we go. Super simple. And then for the inside, we're once again going to take a four by five and a quarter, very vanilla. And we'll add this strip. Um, to the side like so okay you could even add ribbon to this if you wanted but I think it's fabulous as is okay um, so there's our next card all right ooh this next one is another just super cute and super easy card I'm gonna start with another real red card base give this a good crease and then I've got this little card, which is just so cute. It's got all the presents on it. And um, we're going to add this to our card. Oh, uh, let's see. We're going to pop it up because, I mean, hello. <laughs> all right. There we are. Then I'm going to take my one and three quarter inch circle and I'm just going to punch a circle out of, you can do any of the colors I chose. Um, I chose Misty and Moonlight, but honestly, you can kind of do whatever. And then this is from that... Uh, Brightest Glow, this is the dyes that coordinate it with it, which I want to say are the Lights of Glow dyes. They're in the annual catalog. It's just a standalone set of dyes. It was in the bundle with the Lights or Brightest Glow stamp set last year. Okay, so I want to just stamp a sentiment on here, and I'm going to do that Happy Holidays once again. Um... So I cleaned this off so that I can stamp it. We'll do in real red this time. So I just die cut that little label, which is super cute. All right, so we've got happy holidays on here. Maybe I'll put it up like this. And we'll pop this whole thing up. Oh, I hate when this happens. Okay. So I'll stick that on there like. 
like so, and of course it all coordinates. Now you could punch that circle from Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Real Red, or Balmy Blue, and it would coordinate. And I there's kind of a peachy pink color, which I suppose could be Flirty Flamingo. I'm not sure. But there we go. And isn't that cute? Of course we can embellish. And ooh, maybe for this, I'll use some of our adhesive backed sparkle gems, just giving you lots of different options for um, embellishments. You don't have to use the ones I'm using. I'm just giving you some different possibilities. And I'm trying to decide. I think I'm gonna go with a smaller one over here and over here. And there's another super cute card. Now, oh, I feel like we could add a little ribbon to this and it would be all right. So I'm gonna take some of my bordered Knight of Navy ribbon and I'm just gonna tie a little bow. Now, if you're bow impaired, that's okay. Um, this ribbon will be on sale tomorrow. Yay! And by tomorrow, I mean late tonight, depending on how night owly you are. <laughs> and we're just going to add it. Nope. Oh, maybe. Oh. Top or bottom? Goodness. Oh, come on. I'm going to put it, put it on top. Oh, so cute. Kathy, I got you. I will always do the insides for you. You know I will. Okay, so there's that. And then, true to form, the inside. Now, this is really cute. Um, we've got some of these little packages. Now, if you run out of the stickers for the packages, you can um, cut some out from the designer series paper. But to kind of make this one go a little further, I'm just going to add, sorry, let me quick clean my other, my any sentiment. Okay, so this goes in here, like that, to you and yours this Christmas, and then we'll just throw one package on there, okay? But you can, there's a whole bunch, there's one, two, three, four, five, on six, on the, just this sheet alone, so, or you could put this in there, that would be pretty cute too. Okay, so there's that one. All right, but we haven't even, we're not even done yet, not even close. <laughs> Okay, speaking of packages, here's a big 4x6 card. Here again, you could take and cut all these out, but I love this card. So I want to use it, <clears throat> excuse me, as a, as kind of the focal point of my card. All right, so I've got this, one of our note cards and envelopes, and of course, it's got the matching envelope to go with it. Now you could rip this apart, by the way, and use this as designer series paper, this as designer series paper, this as a little element, uh, or you can just use it as a envelope. Okay, so I've got this and we'll pop this up onto our card. I need a new sheet of dimensionals. My voice seems to be going because my goodness, I cheered my heart out yesterday. All right. Oh, so cute. I really like this one. And uh, once again, we can do a variety of different things. But I think I'm going to take, uh, let's see, I think I'm going to take um, the Merry Christmas and just add that. And I think I'll do that in Night of Navy. 
and I just have a three quarter inch strip. Okay, so I stamped it on there and I'm gonna punch the end with my trip, my banners pick a punch because that's one of my favorites. Okay. Look at that. So cute and easy. And I mean we're just cranking out these cards in no time. Which is so awesome. All right, then I'll take and just snip this end off like so. Okay, you can also add ribbon, embellishments, whatever you would like to this. I think what I'm going to do is add some of my glittered sequins because they will add a nice sparkly touch to this. I'll just put the two right there. Oh, so cute. Okay, so there's, uh, where did I put my envelope? Right here. So now this one has an envelope ready to go to fit that weird four by six size. I say weird, not that it's weird, but that it's weird because it's not our standard card size. Let's do another one of those weird ones. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to, this time I'm going to do my blue card base and we're going to show the bears off because, oh my gosh, they're so dang cute. All right. So this piece is just the sweetest and, um, I'm going to put this on here. So we used that piece. I think that was our very first card. All right. So simple. Um, and then we're going to add our sentiment. Um, I've got another one of those dies from our set of dies that coordinates with the brightest glow stamp set. Just need a block over here. Okay. And I'm going to stamp that in, gosh, you could really do whatever. I think I'm going to pop, make it pop with a little real red. Okay, and then we'll add this to our card, and I think I'm going to stick it kind of right here, kind of in between, so as to not, see, I don't want to cover, so as to not block off completely any of the bears' faces. We, we want all of our bears represented here, of course. <laughs> So sweet. And then we're going to add some of these on here. Ooh, the snowflakes would be cute on this one as well. But I'm just going to put a couple dots in a couple places. It's like a little tail, but not... <laughs> Okay, maybe one more over here, like that. So a little sparkle, there's that one. And of course, it's coordinating card, like so. And we can add something to the inside. How about this? So cute. Okay, then we're not done yet. We're gonna keep, keep them coming. Here's another note card. And of course, a coordinating envelope. We'll pop this up. This is the other side of this one and I'm going to tie some ribbon onto this. Oh, maybe I'll use the red. It's the hardest part is just picking. Okay. Alright. 
So I just tied a little knot on here so no bows will pop up the card onto our card and then we can embellish. So again, these are all just so easy to make and quick. Oh, I love it. Okay, I have just a couple more of these and then we're gonna do some not Christmas cards. And I'm gonna pop one in the center here quick. Okay, there we go. Oh. And once again, you can decorate this or embellish this with whatever you'd like. I'm gonna use some more of these because they're just so cute. So I'll put a little dot on each side like that. Merry Christmas. So cute. And of course that goes with an envelope and the design is carried throughout and let's see if we have something fun to put on the inside. Um, I think this would be kind of cute. And warm and cozy. <laughs> because why not? Okay, so there's that one. All right, next up, here's another super simple one. Christmas is Better Together, which I just love. Such a sweet sentiment. And of course, we're just going to pop this baby up onto our card. And then um, the inside is really going to be just too much for you, probably. It's almost too much for me. <laughs> So then on the inside, we've got, and I've kind of just been itching to use these two. We've got either these two, or you could put these two, this one and this one. Um, it's kind of up to you, but I just think this is so stinking cute. Oh, isn't that just adorable? And I would just leave it like that, plain and cute okay next and I should say last no second to last is this one so I'm gonna go back to my uh, this is a Knight of Navy card base so back to like the regular size cards um, and I've got the wishing you the best this season which I really love this uh, sentiment and the colors on here, of course. So I've got my three and a quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of Mossy Meadow that I cut ahead of time. And I will add this to my card. Popped up, of course. Now, if you wanna make these a little extra, you could do things like emboss the card bases with um, like that snowfall embossing folder that would be really pretty or snowflake fall or I can't remember what it's called you know what I mean um and then of course for the inside we can take and add this which is just super sweet and cute and of course, all the insides that I've been doing are on four by five and a quarter inch panels of very vanilla because that is the color of the card background color. Okay, our last card is this one. 
one final uh, four by five and a quarter. Now I need to trim this big one down slightly and I'm just gonna lop off uh, three quarters of an inch, which is easy peasy. And then the rest of this will go on here. So this is now five and a quarter by four. So it'll go right here like that. And I'll adhere that directly. Oh, I just ran out of seal. Okay, I'm going to then take, this is another nested essentials die cut. And this time we're gonna stamp thinking of you on here. So this is nice because this is um, a card beyond just the holidays. So I'm gonna add thinking of you in some night of maybe ink on here. And this is from that um, stamp set that's part of our online exclusives. And so that'll fit on this die cut just perfect. And look at how cute that is, super easy. And this of course can be used for any time of year. Um, or I shouldn't say any time of year, any occasion, not just Christmas is what I was trying to say. Gosh, but man, I said that all wrong. So this is the um, sparkle ribbon in balmy blue. And we're just going to put a little line of this kind of right on here. Maybe we'll do two lines just for fun. Okay, I'll cut this with my good scissors and we'll cut two strips. pop this up over the top. Gosh, I think these are going to look better if they're closer together. Okay. There we go. So, um, I'll just take and put this longer strip of dimensionals at the top. And add that like so. And then to embellish this one, um, maybe I'll take and put, ooh, one of those on. And then um, trying to decide if I want anything else in here. I think that's good as is. Then we'll add the inside. And remember, we've got that leftover piece that we cut off of our card. So we can add that for the inside. And you could, of course, add a polar bear to this if you wanted. I was looking, well, actually, yeah, I, we do have one polar bear. I was trying to find a polar bear that didn't have, like, a Christmas thing to it. And I think this one will work. So we can just add that. Aww. So cute. Okay, so we've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, 10, 11 Christmas cards. I really only meant to make like two or three, but we had to, right? <laughs> super duper duper easy and super fun. Um, so you can, so these memories and more cards are still available and the note, the no cards and envelopes. Um, so Go ahead, run, run out and get them when you put your order in tomorrow for the sale. 
All right, now I mentioned, um, let me close up this ink pad. I mentioned that we are also going to make uh, some a card with the new, some new online exclusive goodies. So I really, really love that um, stamp set with the big words. Um, and that one is the, the softly said, and it's just so pretty. It's kind of, it's watercolored actually. Um, and it's just so pretty, you know, I'm a sucker for watercoloring, right? So I wanted to use this new designer series paper because as mentioned, it's gorgeous. And I thought, um, we really want the focus to be on the paper, not, um, you know, not, it's just so pretty. So, okay. Now, one thing that I know you're going to say is that you don't want to cut the paper, but you got to cut the paper because if you don't, it's just going to sit and you want to use it because the next time pretty paper comes, I want you to feel good about getting some because <laughs> you know you're going to want it. So just use it. Okay. So I thought we would make a couple cards with this quick. Now, first off, the paper is just gorgeous. And there's all kinds of different styles um, and scenes and, and little bit different colors. So you can really um, enjoy whichever of these pieces you want. Um, I'm going to go with ooh, this one. It's really pretty. Now these were made with pastels. Like, um, I don't think, I don't know if they're oil. They're, they're called soft pastels. I don't know if they're oil based or what they're based out of exactly. Um, but we're going to take, and first of all, we're going to cut into this paper. Oh, it's not so bad. <laughs> okay. So I just made this five and a quarter inches. And then I want to take it to, uh, well, I picked this one because I really liked, let's see, I'm going to cut about that off. So I've got just a little bit of the scene at the bottom, but I've got a lot of the sky on top. That's kind of what I was going for. Okay. So um, the reason I wanted a lot of the sky is because I wanted to be able to stamp on it. So I'm going to take that Thinking of You stamp and once again stamp this onto my designer series paper here. So I'm going to use Night of Navy and stamp right on here. Just like that. And you can see it's lighter and darker in areas. That's by design. That's what the stamp is supposed to do so no worries there um and then we'll take and put that on a night of navy card base which is just out of my reach okay oops that is not night of navy that's blueberry bushel a lovely color but not what we want Did I use? I think I might have used all my Night of Navy. Well, that's not good. Hold on. Let me see if I've got some. I do. It's just a full sheet. We got to cut it down. Okay, so five and a half inches. Okay, now. On the inside of this card like that's literally it thinking of you it's so easy but of course we can embellish this a little bit as well now I mentioned the embellishments that go with this Here they are. They are dragonflies and birds. They're so pretty. Um, and they will, they're made out of like sequin material. So they're lightweight and sm small. In the meantime, if 
if while they're not available, you can easily substitute these with our brass butterflies, brushed brass, brass butterflies. Those will be just wonderful. You can certainly use any of our other embellishments. Um, like I said, in the meantime, until they come back in, but they're coming, they should be back here shortly. Like I said, a week or two. Um, so I'm just going to put a couple on here like that. Just so gorgeous. Now on the inside of our card, and we can, this one I think will kind of go either way, white or vanilla. Um, so I'll just grab... Ooh, do I have any more vanilla sheets left? I think I might have used them on all our cards. Don't you worry, I've got more cut. Okay. So I cut this piece to trim down my cardstock, and I can just add this to the inside. And this adds just a lovely touch. Okay. But don't worry, there's more. So easy. I mean, I know this is a pretty basic card, but that paper is just so pretty. Okay. Um, another option, let's see, is to take your paper, find a pattern you love, do this one that one's really pretty oh so is that they're all so pretty and I mean the back sides are really cool too but they're all done with pastels so gorgeous look at that oh choosing the pattern is really the hardest part okay what if we took this one Okay, this is just beautiful. And ooh, this might go nicely with that um, blueberry bushel. Let's see, does that color actually coordinate with this? Let's see. Blueberry bushel, yes it does. Okay, um, so we're gonna do a blueberry bushel card base. I'm gonna fold this in half. And we'll trim our panel down like we have done so many times. And I kind of want to preserve the top. I just like the look of the top. So four by five and a quarter once again. Okay. Now this time um, we're going to use our sentiment. Um, but we're going to add it on some vellum. Okay. So you can, um, cut a piece of vellum. You can, um, die cut a piece of vellum. You can kind of do whatever you would like. With your vellum. I think what I'm going to do is emboss and then trim my vellum. So we'll take our embossing buddy, drop that on there, and then stamp this in some Versamark. Now you'll lose some of the details of the image. It won't show, you know, those in the embossing so much but it'll be very nice okay I love this font by the way then I'll emboss it in white you can also do other colors um, like a metallic but I think white will look really nice and it'll stand out very nicely on this um, on this background of paper that we chose. Okay, let's see. So we'll just emboss. 
this and then I'm just going to trim this down. Like I said, you could die cut this piece if you wanted. You could um, cut it ahead of time. I just kind of wanted to see exactly how big this stamp would be because I haven't worked with it much yet. Okay, so I'm just going to... Trim that piece like so. And then we're going to add it to the card. Now, because this is vellum and the adhesive will show through, we're going to put some glue dots on the back where um, the embossing is. So we'll just kind of hide them under the letters which is pretty easy to do. The hardest part is getting the dot to release from the paper. Like I said, getting the dot to release. There we go. <laughs> and I think one more up here and we'll be good to go. All right. So now I'm just going to position this on here like that. And I know this is pretty basic, but I just want to show off that gorgeous paper. It's just so pretty. And then once again, we can um, put that leftover piece on the inside like so. So I just wanted to show, showcase a whole bunch of super simple cards to show off all of these beautiful papers and adorable note card or memories and more cards. And these are all just so easy to use. Now you can add what, I mean, you can add ribbon to this. You can add embellishments to it. You can really do whatever you want. I think actually those um, pastel sequins are going to be super cute on here. Oh my goodness. Don't do the two sheets, Dina. <laughs> super, super sweet. Very easy. Easy is the name of the game today. Of course, I have made a giant mess, but that's what we always do. That's how we know it's been a good session. So let me show you again my projects. So we made a couple cards featuring that new stamp set that are just so easy, so simple. New stamp set and new um, set of DSP. And then we took um, some paper and memories and more cards to make very simple and quick Christmas cards or holiday cards, whatever you need them for. So there's one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Holy smokes, that's probably the most cards we've ever made in a live before, I think. Oh my goodness. So if you, of course, have any questions, um, <laughs> yes, Margaret, I cut the paper. It was okay. It's okay to cut the paper, but it, they're just so beautiful. And like I said, um, you can use, you can use a variety of sentiments. I, gosh, I love this stamp set though. Whew, I, I know I'm going to use it a lot. Um, I also have visions of watercolor with this stamp set. It's going to be great, but just such gorgeous papers and so many things you can do. So I hope you loved these projects. I will snap pictures of them and get them posted on my blog for you tomorrow. Don't forget, uh, seasonal sale starts tomorrow. First we turkey, then we stamp camp boxes have already shipped, but I've got a few left. If you would like to get one, we can still get it to you um, in plenty of time. So uh, drop me a message if you need the link to, to 
order, but I think I have it in the description of this video. Um, if you are on my mailing list, you'll get an email from me reminding you of the seasonal sale with all the details and all the things, as well as links for this month's classes. Um, and uh, don't forget to stock up on that seasonal sale. It's going to be such a great thing. All right, friends, I hope you have a fantastic day and week. I will see you back here on Friday for another Friday fun video. And uh, I look forward to inspiring you all up once again this week. So have a great rest of your week. We'll see you soon, friends. Bye-bye.